Hi everyone, so I have all of the 16 of the new Colourpop Blur Luxe lipstick and apparently this is a matte lipstick but at the same time it gives you like a velvety soft texture finish which apparently is supposed to smooth any fine lines and imperfection without drying out your lips which actually attracted me because I do have really dry lips so I had to get the whole collection and review them for you guys. Again, the packaging is the same as the other cream lipstick that I have and the matte lipstick which is like this gold finishing with the top on top with um, covered with stars and it is a bullet finish as well now in regards of the ingredients the main ingredients in this they have pomegranate goji fruit and grape seed extracts which helps to protect and nourish your lips which also help to moisturize your lips as well so let's get started with the colors so the first color this is CA love and this is supposed to be like a radish taupey brown but for me like I find like this is like the perfect nude brown for me it is not too dark it's not too light it's just like the perfect warmness for my asian skin tone i just love this so much like i fell in love with this straight away however i do have to say that out of all this new dish in this collection this is the most pigmented one i do have to say that the pigmentation and the yeah, basically the pigmentation for all of these lipsticks, I find that it was a little bit inconsistent. The one that is much more lighter tends to be much more sheer looking, which means that you can see my um, tone of my lips. But then with the darker lips, you can see how pigmented it is and it is beautiful. So this um, before it was cream fresh which is like a orange nudie shade which is definitely pigmented but sheer at the same time now this is y2k and this one definitely like have like this blur effect which i thought was pretty pretty awesome and for me this is much more of a beigey mauve shade but in the description it says that it is a mauve brown one thing I like about all of this Luxe lipsticks is that most of it really match to the model. However, I noticed that some of the lipsticks, when you look at it um, from the packaging, like looking at the bullet lipstick, when you apply it on your lips, some of it may differ from, you know, from the videos that you can see here, you can see that the bullet lipstick looks different to the model itself. So definitely follow the model um, pictures rather than looking at the bullet lipstick if that makes sense now this one it is a beautiful shade as well and this is mesmerized now this one i actually expected it to be a mauve shade but it is actually like a sweet warm pink color now this one on the description it says that it is like a warm rose so you can see for me it is definitely a very warm rosy shade which i think it's very nice i actually do like it now next is lucky strike and i love this particular shade because i love my mauve shade so this one is like the perfect mauve for me and also i noticed it has a little bit of like a purple undertone to it as well which i thought was really nice but you can see from this it's very different from the model itself but i'm really happy with the finish anyway now next i don't know how to say this name but Sephenix or whatever but the description says that this is like a bubble gum pink color which i definitely agree for me this reminds me of like a light baby pink not really my favorite but i mean it does look nice but it's not something i would usually regularly wear but i guess it's great for those who have really light fair skin probably like dark skin as well with a pop of color that'll be a perfect shade for you guys now this one Renate. I love this color so much because I love like dark brown lipsticks. I feel like it really complements my skin tone and this one I'm so glad it doesn't show any of my dry patches which I thought was good. It shows a little bit but if you explore a little bit it is okay so not too bad but it's a beautiful chocolate brown shade. Now next is all tea and this is supposed to be like a hot fluorescent pink color which I have to agree. Not really a fan of it because I don't see myself wearing really often but if I want a little bit of popped on my lips i would definitely go for this because it is so beautiful it is very pigmented as well it is definitely not sheer so yeah definitely very nice color now next this is fake love and again this is also very similar to all tea this is much more of a blue undertone so this is like a bright blue pink color now this one for me i also noticed that it has a little bit of a purple undertone for me i felt like this is like a barbie shade color that's all I can say to it. 
Now next, this is K-pop, and I love this particular shade because it is such a beautiful bright orange color. Like for me, I feel like this is like a persimmon shade, but also have like a red undertone. Perfect, perfect shade, and it's super pigmented. It's this amazing now in regards of the texture quickly i just want to say that this lipstick is so moisturizing it is so easy to apply it just slide and glide on your lips so easily and if you want to pull off like the gradient lip definitely a perfect lipstick for it i definitely like how moisturizing it is but again i wasn't sure about the consistency or maybe my lipsticks some is pretty pigmented and some is not pigmented but i'm not fast because first is affordable and the colors are beautiful now this one is 21 question and it is like a warm red nudie shade on the description it says like it's like a burnt orange red which i totally agree now next is solo and for some reason i think of like han solo or like you know um jenny from blackpink solo song for some reason but this is like a raspberry pink shade and definitely very very pigmented as well i feel like this is very great for like i don't know like an overall shade radish color i don't know why i think of that but yeah it's a definitely pretty color now next is super bloom and it's very similar to solo but this time i felt like this was more of a red pinky undertone now in the description that it this says is like a bright pinky red which i totally agree and again this is very pigmented as well so i feel like the more i swatch all the lipsticks i started off i'm not sure if you guys know this i started from like the lightest to the darkest or like any similar shades i put them together so definitely the light brown shades some of them you know the pigmentation wise some of them are a little bit off but they're actually not too bad now this one sorry not sorry definitely very you know out of my comfort zone but this is like a lilac purple for me which i thought was really nice but again this was pretty sheer so i can see like my undertone underneath the lipstick now next is alchemist i hopefully i said it right this is supposed to be like a rich blackberry shade love this shade so much like it is to die for like i love this kind of lipstick and again it really complement my lips so overall i really like this collection i actually definitely prefer this one over matte just because my lips are pretty dry now regards of you know the texture and the colors everything they are beautiful but again is whether or not you want something very moisturizing and soft looking on your lips definitely go for this but if you want something that is much more matte i would go for you know the matte lipstick now regards of the longevity it does last for a while it lasts for about seven eight hours which i thought was pretty good and this is how mesmerized look like after seven hours of it so out of all of this this would be my favorite so ca love and also y2k and i also like vanette which is a beautiful brown shade again and then lucky strike mauve shade perfect and k-bob bright orange shade amazing and the last one is alchemist perfect purple shade so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next video Bye bye